you're watching I have something to say today I'm at veggie lovers it's a vegetarian restaurant on 11th and spring in Chinatown section of the city I'm continuing in my Lent tradition sticking to no meat so this is a new place that my friend told me about and I'm here to try it out so after perusing the menu I decided to get the house fried rice now it comes with some vegetarian ham stuff but since I don't eat ham normally I'm not going to eat it as veggie either so no I'm going to get that taken out but I'm going to try to and uh, hopefully I will enjoy the house fried rice and I got two spring rolls on the side because I love spring rolls Ho hopefully it's a good time my friend got the sesame tofu I'm going to try that out but the one from Whole Foods makes me feel bad so hopefully this one doesn't I'm going to try his so while we're waiting for the food let's catch up on some hot topics uh to me what am I thinking about today? That Keisha Cole interview with Hot 97 or 105 point something. Whatever it is that Charlamagne works on in New York. She was there with them. And she, um, they asked her a few questions just about her love life and how she felt about certain stars. And I, I, I don't like Keisha okay. Cole no more. Like I used to like her back with like love and all those songs. But like Keisha Cole gets on my nerves now really really bad i don't like her I, I think she did her family dirty and that just stays with me and um i don't like keisha cole but I, I watched and read the interview and i saw when they asked her something about beyonce and she got into the whole she didn't understand why she did bow down oh yeah i know beyonce i met her a few times she's a sweet girl First of all, who you calling a sweet girl? That's a grown woman. Like, don't call her a sweet girl. I was offended. And you know what? For all y'all that keep talking about, I'm talking about Beyonce too much. As long as other people keep talking about Beyonce, I'm going to keep talking about Beyonce. So back to Keisha Cole. Don't say she's a sweet girl. That was shade on the low. And Keisha Cole, I just think that a woman of your level of success, like you like D-list, don't come for nobody that's A-list. So what she wrote bell down? You going to say that's not her. What's her? You know what? You don't even know her. Bye, girl. Tell me that's not. What you say? You know, and it's just not really her. Shut the hell up. What's having you? Because normally you talk about somebody doing you dirty on how you over it. But then all of a sudden you was in love and it was just like heaven. Okay? Was that you, Keisha? Tell me what's not somebody. You don't even know Beyonce. On to the next. I'm going to talk about the Housewives of Atlanta. The reason why I want to talk about the Housewives of Atlanta is because I'm very, very pleased with them this season. I think that that show is just so good. I mean, yes, it's a lot of ratchetness going on. Yes, NeNe bothers me. But... I can't wait till Sunday night. And isn't that really what it's all about? Like, I can't wait. I love that show this season. It is just awesome. This weekend with, uh, what's her name? Kenya and Apollo and his messy behind selves. Let me tell you something. Phaedra, you better than me because I would have seven cases by now. And it wouldn't be against Kenya. I would whoop Apollo's ass. You hear me? Whoop his ass. Honey, Southern Belle, my behind. He just needs a, a, a swift one. Get him. Get him. He needs to be gotten. You're crazy. All that calm, honey, he the big guy. And I would have been fighting a few charges because I would have tore his ass up frequently. He needs it. He's messy. And that's why I love that show because they keep me going. It is a, that, I love Housewives of Atlanta this um, season. And what about, um, I did check out Portia's little video for Flatline. She has a new song out called Flatline. Flatline sounds like a pretty good song, but that video, I was a little uncomfortable watching it because Portia, you was all doing all this and I don't know what you was doing. I don't know what was going on and I was very uncomfortable. I think you was doing a bit too much and whoever directed the video should have told you to calm all that down. Maybe you should have set your ass at a piano or on a stool and just sung your story, gave us your testimony, all that. What were you doing? Like, I wouldn't say it was gyrating. I think you were like trying to be sexy, but baby, that was a film. But the song sounds pretty good. But all that, whatever you was doing, just, I, I don't know. But I, I wanted you to stop. I wanted you to stop right now. I heard Nene did really good on Dancing with the Stars this week. Um, I, I'm not watching that. I'm not going to do that. But that's good for Nene. And uh, I won't be watching that. But I'll continue watching Real Housewives of Atlanta and Andy afterwards. Sunday nights are the best the, the, the best nights on Watch What Happens Live. Because he always has somebody on there that's going to either talk about the housewives or f that are from the housewives. So I love Sunday night. Watch what happens live. Y'all got me into the season finale, and then I'll watch the recap. And 
Hopefully Apollo gets punched in the face by Phaedra. Nobody else. Punch him in his face. You stupid. Side note, sidebar, whatever you want to call it. I have two new friends in my head. One is Kate Blanchett and the other one is Naomi Campbell. Reason being is because I watched Blue Jasmine this week and I also watched an interview with Naomi on the Wendy Williams show. And I love Naomi Campbell. She just seems like she is like the best friend to have and hang out with. She seems so authentic to me and that was enough for her to be a friend in my head. I don't know if I missed other interviews before with her, but her on Wendy was everything. So that's my new friend. And Kate Blanchett is my new friend because I so identify with Crazy and I've seen her in other films and she always nails it. But Blue Jasmine, guys, is a must-see, honey. She nailed crazy. She nailed nervous breakdown. That is my friend. And I don't care what how I say when I say that I identify with that. I loved her crazy. She is my friend. Yeah. She's my friend. And what about Chris Brown, guys? I know by now everybody has heard that he, he might be going back to jail or he is in jail for violating the rules and rehab. Y'all think Rihanna put roots on a Chris Brown child? What is wrong? And nothing, nothing is going right for this guy. And he, Rihanna, y'all know she from the islands, honey. They don't play that. It seems like somebody, he might want to go and get washed in the blood of the lamb, honey. Because that he needs to be cleansed. Something's not right. I think, I think Rihanna might have put a little bit of something on Chris Brown. And he needs something. Because he... I mean, damn, he can't catch a break. I feel bad for the guy. You know what I mean? I do, I really do, because he has a talent and it's definitely being wasted. And I don't want to see him on Dr. Drew later on. No way, Jose. I want Chris Brown to be okay. I really do. Mm. And now she be with Drake, child. Drake better not do her dirty, because it'll be you next singing, child. You'll be singing somewhere up in the corner, singing and rapping, singing. You're not using it, back and forth, singing, rap, singing, rap. Right, so Scandal's coming on later. I'm definitely watching. Hopefully, it's a better ep episode. I'm not giving up on Scandal, okay? I'm watching it all the way up until the end of this season, and I'll be there next season, God willing, but I just hope it gets better. I hate to watch that show and be disappointed. This doesn't seem right. I am a little somber today. I found out that one of my favorite, favorite restaurants is closing. Route 6, you might remember we taped there over this summer. It's closing today. I didn't find out until today. I'm, in, I'm doing Lent, so I couldn't even run and get me no fried oysters before they closed. I just can't believe Route 6 is closing. I'm so sad. They said Steve Starr, Steven Starr, he runs that restaurant. He said he's going to go... Uh, with another concept come this fall and I'm just kind of sad about it but I think I know why I think it was the crowd though because I do I think it was the crowd because I went a few times and I saw a difference in who was frequenting the place myself and I really think that that's why he's going to change the concept but I sure I'm going to miss route six that was my place lord Alright guys, so my food came and again, I got the special house fried rice without the veggie ham. I got the uh, sesame tofu and I got spring rolls. And I just want to say, and I'm going to use a word that I hate using, that it was amazing. Lord, I hate amazing. I'm not going to use that word no more. But it was. It was so, so good. Oh my goodness. I would, I'm not going to say I would recommend this place if you were a vegetarian. I recommend this place period it's called veggie lovers it's on 11th and spring right off of i think that's vine and um listen it's definitely a good time i will be back during lent after lent i love it i love my house that the special house fried rice was made to perfection i simply enjoyed it and the tofu i ate a few pieces and i feel fine so it's not like whole foods i don't know what the hell they're doing around there organic but this one was perfect. It was perfect. And my spring rolls were even awesome. I love a spring roll. So definitely recommend Veggie Lovers. It's a good time. All right, so that's it for me. I'm about to go get my taxes done. This lady house that I'll be sitting there for a long time. So I'm glad I got some snacks, you know. Lord, I'm going to be all night.